Alright, alright everyone, I have a video of Modern Warfare 2 for you. I still think this game is pretty awesome, although it might not be as this. new as Modern Warfare 3, but it's still an awesome game. I'm using the ACR, one of my favorite assault rifles in this game. It did return to Modern Warfare 3, but I just miss how accurate the ACR was in this in this game. But it does lack a lot of fire power, so you need stopping power. And right here, I died because my batteries they died on me but I didn't get the warning or whatever so I had to plug in my battery pack pack thingy again so yeah that was a stupid death but another great thing about Modern Warfare 2 is the weapon balance almost every weapon was worth using there are some that aren't that weren't so hot but a lot of them had their uses the only issue I really had with this game was just the explosives since they were too powerful, so the grenade launchers and rocket launchers can be annoying to encounter at times. I don't really mind the RPGs since they do have a limited range, but the grenade launchers, they, definite, they definitely annoy me. <laughs> They're like sniper rifles, pretty much. Yeah, that was really the only real complaint I had with this game. There are more, but they're very minor. This game in the... COD community is really a hated or loved game. I've seen people made videos where they break the disc, they consider it the worst game ever, blah blah blah, but I really think it's a fun game and it does do a lot of things right. I personally think this game is more chaotic than COD 4 and it's also more funner too. Anyway, sorry I've been gone for a while. I've been doing a lot of think a lot of thinking of what I'm gonna do with my career and all that stuff. I've been planning out my trailer and I definitely got a lot of the stuff done but it's still not ready and all I'm gonna try my best to create a, tra a trailer that's like powerful and emotional at the same time if I can because the editing software I'm using is pretty crappy don't expect like you know animation and all that stuff it's gonna it's just gonna be text the picture plus music just stuff like that because it's pretty much a trailer for a book so yeah there's not going to be a lot of interesting stuff you're gonna watch <coughs> it's a challenge because once this trailer is released everyone is gonna you know be exposed to it I'll be tagging a lot of game related stuff to get attention and I really need to make a good first impression you know I got a dream I'm chasing and I'm not gonna stop till I get it and I think, you know, Sorrow for what it is as a book, I think it's good. I mean, it will be better if I can make it into a game and probably add some stuff to make more things clear. I personally, you know, thought the story kind of fell flat near at the end and I, and it pretty much had no story or whatsoever. And then it, it was pretty much all about the action until it reached the climax. But I think it was the right decision to do it because it's a tril trilogy and it's not supposed to end everything right away. Sure, Halo was a trilogy, but when Halo 1 came out, Bungie didn't know if it was going to do good or not, so they had no plans of it. And I plan on doing it well because I like you know, trilogies. I think trilogies are cool. And oh yeah, look at this. I could have gotten a double kill right there, but the lag stopped me, which is just stupid. So yeah, this gameplay video is almost over. And the main reason why it's almost over is because the host left, I don't know why. Actually, he didn't left, he dashboarded. I don't get dashboarders, man, I mean, that's just stupid. People dashboard to, like, protect their stats and all that stuff. I don't really, like, I don't really give a crap about video game stats, so yeah. Then I got kicked out of the lobby. Anyways, later people.